General Stanley McChrystal and his wife Annie are in Rochester for a fundraiser to help wounded veterans. The retired four-star general is the former commander of the U.S. Joint Special Operations in Afghanistan. He sat down with us to speak exclusively about the downing of the Chinook helicopter that killed 30 military personnel. There were a number of friends and people that I had served with lost there, and so there's a personal feeling of loss. And there's a, a greater loss, sense of loss because I know their comrades and their families. The crash killed 22 members of the elite SEAL Team 6, the same squad that killed Osama bin Laden. This was a force, as I understand it, that was going in to support another force already in a firefight. And without hesitation, this force was going in to, to support comrades on the ground. And again, I think that is probably demonstrative of the kind of people that were representing us and that we mourn for now. General McChrystal retired last August and now teaches leadership at Yale. He's on the National Committee for the Yellow Ribbon Fund, which raises money to help injured military personnel. I think a nation ultimately can be judged on how it takes care of its people, how it takes care of its own, how it stands up to its responsibilities. And I can't think of a responsibility that's more obvious to me than to take care of people who have stood up for us. Vito Pampelona heads the local fund, which helps injured personnel return to civilian life. These young people, they're, they're really a time of need, and to help them, uh, there's just no better cause in, in the United States and America today. This golf outing is expected to bring in $70,000. So far, they've raised over $300,000 to help our local wounded veterans. General McChrystal says there is no greater cause. In Rochester, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7, Action News.